it is playoff time at Duke Grant Sports Network. Here to witness one of the great matchups of the postseason of 2018. We will witness the Columbia Ravens from the MMYFCL. And they will be up against the Middle River Renegades of the UCYFL. And our games are sponsored by iDetail Maryland, the absolute best auto detailer in the state of Maryland. You don't have to do anything. They come to you. 410-635-0471. That's all you got to do is give them a call. And our second sponsor is House of Cabal, Persian Buffet, 8025 Hartford Road, Parkville, Maryland. The best kebab you can get anywhere. Fresh, grilled, and tasty. Come in and check it out. Now, if you like football games with a lot of scoring, you've come to the wrong place. Because neither one of these teams want to give up anything. They are very good defensive teams, so let's get it on. And the Renegades will get the ball first. And number 11 is tackled after a short game. And here they go to number 1. And he is tackled. And again, the Renegades number 1 going this time up the gut. Not getting much. And the handoff is bobbled and the ball is fumbled and recovered by number one. Watch this again of the Columbia Ravens. You'll see the ball is fumbled and number one recovers it for the Ravens and they are in business. Here, number eight, getting set and go to their number one and he gets just a couple. And here they go again. This time, number 12, spinning, making some good moves, just getting a few yards. Here again, a little screen pass, and number one makes a good move from the outside, and they are now moving the football. Here you see number one again. He goes to number 21, and he gets just a few. This is a very tough game. Two good defensive teams. Nobody's going to get anything easy here. And here, number eight goes up top. He's got a man out there. Oh, and it's number nine, and he goes in for the touchdown. Great play. As you see, beautiful pass and catch. Watch this again. Nice throw as we slow it down, and number nine just beats. And it looks like Columbia will try to go for the extra point here. They try to go with number one, and he is bottled up. And the extra point is no good, leaving the score six to nothing, Columbia Ravens. And here, Columbia kicks off. Number one has the ball. He's at the 35, down to the 40, about to 43 yard line. They have good field position, and here we go to number one, and he goes again. Goes inside, but he is stuffed by a sea of Ravens. Here, again. Just trying to go straight up the, the middle. This is what they're used to doing. They usually have an advantage. And here the ball over the head of number one. But he still gets the ball. And gets out and gets some pretty good yardage out of the deal. And has to punt. And here it goes to number 20. And he is wrestled down. And the Ravens are trying to muscle their way inside but they are met by a big number 80 and a gang of renegades and they're not giving up anything and here again drop behind the line this has been a defensive struggle and here we see a good pass and great catch by number nine and he shimmies his way to about the 25 yard line and here columbia is in business again and they go Straight up the middle with number 21. They're trying to get something going. Here you see number 8. But he is wrestled back to about the 30-yard line by the Renegades. And here number 8 trying to go up top. But he is unsuccessful. And the Renegades get the ball back. They go to number 1. He's trying to zigzag his way. But this defense is all over it. Not giving up anything. And here you see number one, and he's getting the ball to the side, but he's not. Can't penetrate, get good yardage. And they are trying everything, but they are met by 
just one swarming defense and one swarming defender after another who keeps cutting in and making havoc. Here they try to go up top and it's a great catch. And they go again but still not getting much. What a defensive performance we're seeing as number three of the Renegades trying to get something but not getting much. And here the ball is fumbled and number 12 recovers for the Ravens. And now the Ravens have the ball again and it goes to number one and he's trying to get to the outside and he turns the corner but is met. After a short game, here again they go to number 12, he's trying to go inside but they are just stuck. There's just not a whole lot of room. And the ball is up and intercepted by number seven. And it's, as you can see, it is halftime. And the score, Columbia six. Middle River nothing. This has been a tough first half. And we look forward to an equally tough second half. And the Ravens will receive the kick as it's just and here you see number eight going to number 12 and he gets just a few. What a defensive struggle we're seeing as number 80 makes the stop on number 21. And they go again this time to number 21 again. This offense on both sides is getting challenged today and see number 21 he loses the football and the renegades recover and here you see number one and he is trying to get outside he cuts inside makes some good moves and he's almost at midfield here you see they go to number three and he blasts his way in the middle of the field and he is shimmying all the way down and he gets inside the four but there is another penalty and here they move back and they don't get anything. They have got to get something going. This is a high-powered renegade team that has been stumbled all day. And a few times they've made some headway penalties and other things and turnovers have hurt them. And this looks like yet another turnover. And the ball goes right back to the Ravens and they go up top. And then it's picked off again. This time number one dancing down the sideline and he is out of bounds what a turn of events we're seeing here as number seven gets swaddled here number three trying to go outside but he is straddled fumbles the football and is recovered by the Ravens and the Ravens again trying to get inside but nothing doing what a defensive masterpiece we're seeing as you see number one trying to zigzag his way for a few yards. And here, again, number 12. And they're keeping the ball on the ground. This is going to chew up clock for both teams as there's very few passes. And as you see, they go again. Keeping on the ground, running the clock. And now the Renegades keep the ball back and they still not getting it. They all just, they believe in their running. And then another fumble. Another fumble by the Renegades. They are just not securing this football today. And they're playing against a good team. Here you see number 12 and he gets around the corner and he gets about 10. And we're starting to see that this is just gonna be a nip and tuck game. You can't make mistakes in this kind of game. This is the kind of game where attrition and perfection and precision is going to win this football game. Here, they go up top and it's almost picked off. And the ball goes back to the Renegades. Number one. Making some nifty moves, getting about four. And here they go again, this time inside to number three. Trying to make something happen as this clock is not their friend, number one going inside and they just keep it on the ground but that by doing that they are just eating up clock but they keep coming and it's just a very tough tough situation as both teams 
are like mirror images of each other. Just pounding the ball of a renegade, trying to get something, anything. As they get down to the 20-yard line, and they're trying to just move the football, and they're just getting blasted. Can't get these first downs, can't keep this ball moving. And there you see the me and the Columbia Ravens win six to nothing, advance to the All-Pro Team Sports 2018 Maryland State Championship game. What a game this was. And the play of the game is a 40-yard pass from number eight to number nine with the game-winning touchdown. We are Duke Grand Sports Network, the time capsule of sports moments and the home of the best young dudes in sports.